Throughout college football history, there's been a lot of sucky teams. Some more recently than others, but who is the worst of them all? It's the 1922 Arkansas State Red Wolves, who besides going winless, never scored a point for the entire season and lost to Central Arkansas 82-0. This team was awful, so I'm making Arkansas State a 20 overall to try to replicate the 1922 team. We'll also only be allowed to recruit three-star players the entire video, and we'll play our in-state school, Arkansas, every season. Once we beat them, though, we'll move up to the SEC. The task may seem daunting, but Coach Rodney Licorice once climbed the Statue of Liberty blind folded, so he has complete confidence he can win the worst college football team ever, a national title. And disgusting, just absolutely brutal, 29 points scored, 634 allowed, we were just miserable, bro, I mean, it's as simple as that, I doubt any of these games are even close yet, 80 to nothing is Arkansas, I mean, FCS schools were blowing us out, oh my god, we somehow managed to score 10 points against the best team in the Sun Belt, but still, dude, just abysmal, I mean, none of these games are even remotely close, the only thing that Coach Licorice can really do to salvage this program is to to recruit, and we have done that so far. Wilson Alexander looks like he'll be our quarterback in the future. We got some solid pieces to build on. Like, this, these guys will make this team instantly better next year, and there's not as many committed as I would have liked, but that's just because Coach Licker is just a low-level coach. Like, he's only, like, level five right now, but we still have a boatload of guys left that we could potentially get in the signing day, so there's still opportunity to pick up some more commits. Out of the first offseason, all these guys are awful. I don't think we're gonna miss any of you, unfortunately, so. Sorry, guys. Not trying to be a jerk wide, but you guys all suck at football, so. Adios. Here's the good stuff. This is what I like to see. Joseph Hyman the third. He's oh, second, actually. Trip White. That's a dope name. Love that. And then Jamal Johnson. Okay, so 75 and 75 and a 73. Wish these guys could play immediately, but they will maintain a year of eligibility on the bench. So thank you three for transferring. I cannot emphasize that enough. These are the side days that just make me dread life, dude. I don't know what to do. I hope I can just get all four guys. We have like a bazillion guys left on our board. I just don't have enough points to go after some of these guys down here. So honestly, man, if I can just get these four guys at the top, which I think is pretty reasonable, then I'll be happy. But yeah, I am not very thrilled with only having 10,000 points, but I wish we had more. Cash money, cash money, cash money. Come on, Coach Licorice. Let's go. No, how did we not get Damien or maybe do we literally got, well, we got two guys <laughs> out of the four I wanted. Oh my gosh, that sucks, dude. How do we not get Mabi or Damien? Like, we had a huge lead for Damien, and Alabama just came out of nowhere, bro. That sucks. This is a depressing situation. I thought we'd have, like, a 15-man haul. We have 11 guys. That's it, man. At the very minimum, we should have gotten 13. I am very pissed off right now, dude. The sad part is, I think I signed, like, three quarterbacks, too. Yeah, so five of the 11 people are in the backfield at quarterback and running back, so next year, I'm gonna try and delegate the numbers better, but I mean, this class this is good though we have what seven or six or something like that 70 plus overalls like we have some good quality here it's just there's only 11 guys man we should have gotten so much more like Forrest K's good PJ Jones Wilson Alexander Tobin Kirby like there's some good pieces here man we just should have gotten more guys maybe next Sunday day we won't get shafted coach licorice but we got the 109th ranked class so at least we didn't finish in the last place for that realistic expectations for year two maybe we'll score 50 points this year I'm serious we're gonna suck so much once again I'm not expecting anything of value. I'm redshirting most of our freshmen too. There's really no point of playing them and going 0 and 12. I might as well maintain a year of eligibility and think like a five-year plan instead of like a one-year plan if that makes sense. I'm just trying to look forward to the future because I mean we do have some good quarterbacks like Wilson Alexander. He's got some potential. He's also got a cool afro that Bew Brown I like 24 as a quarterback. I don't know how I feel about that. Not a fan but we're gonna redshirt him and then also we got a really good running back in the backfield. Dewan Ahmed and also Joseph Hyman in the second, but he's a transfer, so I'll have to set a year, but yeah. There's some good pieces on offense, it's just we gotta recruit basically every other position. And we're off to a blazing 0-4 start to 30 points, so we're halfway, or more than halfway to my 50-point goal, and we're up to a 45 overall, so we have improved, but yeah, we are still a ways away from even being somewhat competitive. Were any of these games, like, somewhat close? No. Even North Dakota beat us by 21, Illinois State beat us by 24, and Georgia Southern, they put us in a body bag. They beat us worse than uh, and actually, they did not beat us first in Arkansas. Did the Vampire Piggies, they also destroyed us. We do have a game today, though. Coach Licorice, we'll see if we can be somewhat competitive. I'm not asking for a win, because that's just not even in the realm of possibilities. So just go out there, compete, guys. And for this game, we have six guys visiting. So there's a decent amount of guys coming for the game. There's not really much to sell. Hopefully, we have, like, a sushi bar or something. I don't know what these guys like to eat. Maybe there's some Sydney Sweeney's and Margot Robbie's on campus. I really doubt it. But we need to pull out an all-hands-on-deck approach, because there's really not much football to sell to these guys so we got to be creative it's a hand up at the middle dude everybody got pink 
bro, how do we ever play defense if everybody gets pancaked every play? That was bizarre. I didn't even pass commit or anything. How did that just happen? What the heck? Yeah, it's not going well, man. They scored again. The offense can't really move the ball, and the defense can't get a stop. So when that happens, your chances of winning are basically zero. And that is the situation we have ourselves in right now. I just hope that we don't get all pancaked again. That would suck. Okay, they're passing. That's good news. To the right side. Okay, defense. Dude, we are so slow. Oh, my gosh, dude. There's no way that he was even close. The situation is done. Dyer, we're down 24 with less than three minutes left. I think the writing's on the wall in this one. You know, I don't think it takes a genius to figure out what's going to happen here, but I'm not giving up on the dream. We're going to convert this first. Dude, oh my God. Okay, well, the pass rush got in so fast. Wilson's 8 for 28. This is just a disaster, man. We lost. I don't know how, but Dakota committed. All right, I'll take that. That's one more commitment than I thought we'd get, so. And we also won one more game than I thought we would. How did we win as a 45 overall? <laughs> I don't know exactly how that happened. It was obviously against an FCS school. I don't see how it would be anybody else. And yep, it was the week after we lost to Old Dominion. We beat Grand Lake State by 10. Besides that, though, every other game was just an absolute massacre, man. I mean, it was just murder on live television. So it was just not a good experience for our guys, but at least we won a game this year. And we also picked up some new commitments like regional loving Caleb Thrasher. Like this class is coming together pretty well. It's like the class last year on the aspect that side day is going to be absolutely stressful as like exam day or the day before exams. I don't think I'll ever be more stressful than the day before or the day of taking my economics exam. That was absolutely horrible, man. But yeah, we still have 11 guys we could potentially get on side day just like last year. So I mean, we'll see how that goes, man. But so far, I'm pretty happy with our class. Class. Out of the offseason, hopefully better days ahead. PJ, though, transferred to Air Force. Dude, why? You were going to start next year. Okay, well, that is unfortunate. And then we have some graduates, but all these guys are really bad at football. So really not missing much except for PJ, dude. Like, that's just not cool. Yes, more transfers. Oh, my gosh. All of them are crap, though, dude. We got a 59 overall Brock Bergeron. He's 65 Chase Bosa. Ooh, some bloodlines there. I doubt it's the same bloodline, but it could be. It's possible. Kate Bishop, I mean. None of these guys are really that stellar, but they're better than what we have, so we can't really say no to them. Oh, dude, I hope we don't get shafted like we did last year. Tanner, give me some good luck, dude. You have my name. Like, we have some sort of, like, Tanner connection. Like, please, commit, bro. Devon Cheeks, same thing here, man. I have Cheeks. You have Cheeks. Let's all be friends. Let's join the party. Isaac Hill and then Kayvon Williams, so. I know I said I wouldn't recruit running backs and quarterbacks, but it looks like it just worked out that way, but yeah, I really need to get these two guys. The guys down here, I'm in a deficit for all of them except for i think like one guy so i'm not expecting anything down here just please give me these four guys man do not shat me like you did last year oh my god isaac what okay well i guess he's gonna become a nomad or something he's gonna go travel the world all right isaac save the thing for fakat or fankoot might stay in idaho though with napoleon dynamite or something i have no clue and then devon didn't commit bro these signing days have gotten so badly man oh my goodness we only got tanner and cave that's it dude oh my gosh once again bro just two out of four on signing day that's just depression so this is the class for this year only nine guys i don't know man maybe i need to try and like mix some things up on the recruiting trail but it sucks because i keep getting fired because we suck so much maybe this year i won't get fired though well, i guess we'll see but just like last year it literally went the exact same i should have had a bigger class and i just did not i mean the good news is most of these guys are solid players like steve's okay dakota regional's definitely really good so is tanner like we have some studs here it's just there's only nine of them maybe we'll get some good walk-ons i think we got like one good walk-on last year maybe we'll get another one but right to 118th in the country at least it's not last place man as long as we're not in last place for recruiting i will be happy all right lads what's realistic for years three i don't know last year we actually won a game which i still don't know how we did that so maybe this year we can win too i mean i'm scheduling all the fcs schools i possibly can except for arkansas so i guess we'll find out but it'll be wilson's second year in the system i don't think he did good last year what were his statistics probably so bad oh my yeah it's not that bad only four touchdowns six interceptions it's not a horrible ratio he didn't throw the ball to the other team like voluntarily so that's good to see but we'll see if he can improve this year i mean he should have some better options because joseph hyman can actually play this year he's no longer longer that transfer sitting out for a year thingy 92 speed and then i don't think we have the best receivers of the world but we got a decent guy like greg galden hopefully will be good but clearly we need to recruit some receivers there's still a bunch of positional needs on this team because we've only signed like 20 guys in the last two recruiting classes combined so yeah there is still a lot of work to do whoa we suck but we don't suck that much let's go four and four is a 65 overall we actually won a game in the sun belt all right hoo -hoo. let's go opened up 
the season to get curb stopped by the Vampire Piggies. Then went on a three, actually four game winning streak, being three FCS goals that we beat Old Dominion. Our first FBS one of the video success for the last three weeks have just not been successful. At least the games are closer, though. That's the bright side. And on the recruiting trail, I got some sad news. Chase Jenkins and Ross Horn, both guys we were leading for, they went on a visit to Southern Miss. I don't know what goes on over there. Maybe they gave him money. Maybe they gave him a good time. I don't know. Whatever it was, I'm not very happy about it, bro. Those are two guys I really freaking wanted. But there are some commitments that we do have. These guys chose to come to Arkansas State, so I'm very happy about that. We needed some defense, especially cornerback. We got three of those. Got offensive linemen, two of them, and we got a receiver. So I'm pretty happy with the balance. And like the last two years, there's still plenty of guys left on our board. We'll see if we can get some of these guys before signing day, so I don't have to stress out so much, but I'm sure that won't happen. We'll see if we can just keep this game competitive. I don't know how we won a game in the Sun Belt this year. That's a big indictment on Old Dominion. They really suck. ULM isn't great either. They're one and three, so maybe we could win. It's not going well. I'll just put it as simple as that. I mean, we're down seven, and they have the ball literally at the goal line, so this is not a great situation. Defense, bow down. Come on. Oh, they're running. Oh, perfect. I got pancake, though. Okay, nice tackle. There we go. They're definitely not going to go for it, so that should be a field goal. Yes, it is. Okay, so we mitigate the damage. Not too bad. I mean, offensively, it's just a disaster. We cannot score, and that is not a recipe for success in football, so defense, I need you to bow down again. Okay, running up the middle. Crabtree, tackle. No, I missed. Dude, fudge. Oh my gosh, okay. We actually have a chance. The situation is dire, though. Recovering this onside kick would be beautiful. Please, splendid happiness. Come on, something could happen, please. Oh, dang it. Okay, well, we still have a chance, though, because, you know, they have to get a first down. We're only down eight points, which is just one possession with a two-point conversion. So, defense, clamp down. It's gonna be a run. Yep, crab trip to the middle. No, now I got blocked. Run. And there's no one in support. Yep. Game's definitely over now, dude. Fudge. I mean, we knew we'd finish in last place, but at least there's not a zero and eight next to each other. There's a two and six, so I can't really be, like, that upset. Like, we're five and seven. Like, we weren't horrible. We actually beat Troy 59 to 37. They went eight and four. I don't know what happened that game. Maybe we were sold our soul for that win, because the last two, we did not win. Especially against Texas State. We gave a losing off a yeah, good game, though. Definitely helps when Wilson Alexander looks like he had a pretty decent season at 18 and 12 with the pieces around him. I mean, considering the circumstances, that's really good. Good job, Wilson. Rushing the ball. Wow. Joseph Hyman also pretty solid, considering our offensive line's a bunch of 50 overalls. 5.6 yards per rush. Amari also got some... I mean, there's some pieces here to build on for the future. We just need to get some more big boys, which I actually do have some commitments from, as you guys may remember. Greg Galden was our best receiver. Not really shocking. We had some 60 overalls try their best. And oh, we got our fullback involved. Trevor Carr. As for defense, Trip White had 119 tackles per we use our entire defense. Oh my god, he had 22 TFLs, three and a half sacks. Six and a half sacks for Tobin Kirby. I mean, dude, there's a lot of good young pieces here. Like, statistically, we had a lot of guys that were young that are going to stay in the program that played pretty well this year. And, like, no one's leaving. So, I mean, the future is not, like, the brightest. Like, I don't think it's the sun or anything like that. But maybe a nice little moon. You know, like, the moon's pretty bright. I'd say that's about what our program's looking like. Oh my sexy. Gabe Wolf, an All-American. America. He's transferring here. I don't know. Maybe he's a girlfriend that is at Arkansas State. Oh, he's from Arkansas. That makes sense. He misses his mom. Okay, well, that's perfectly reasonable. And then Anthony Harper's also transferring here, and so is Chauncey. But this guy is going to be... He's already an All-American, so he can't be a future All-American. He already is one. I mean, I'll be honest. I think this sign of day should go better than the ones of previous years. Like, this Brandon Ziso guy is an absolute Greek god. Like, we need to get him 6'8", 290. Oh, that's a tackle. He's got ballerina feet. We need to get this this guy, Ezekiel, I wish we could go after. We just have enough points. And then we're just putting a thousand for all three of these guys that we have a massive lead for. We've had very low success with these guys that we've had huge leads for on Saturday days. So hopefully we get lucky for once. That would be nice. This guy's name is Ugo Chukwu Quaros. Like, dude, where did Central Michigan come from? We had a huge lead for this kid. I don't understand it, man. This is why we need to try and get guys committed before signing day because we are just cursed on signing day of this video. We only got two guys. At least we got Brandon, who was the best. Like, we got the Greek god, but still, dude. Dude, we should have gotten all four. I don't know how. Oh my goodness, that's just so depressing. So it makes an 11-man haul. I mean, it's not a bad class. Like, there's some really talented players. Obviously, Brandon, the Greek god. And also, the good news is I didn't get freaking fired this year. So Coach Licorice can actually improve upon his recruiting skills. So hopefully next year's recruiting class is a little bit better. But this one's not bad. I don't think that we're struggling with, like, getting good players. I think we're struggling with getting a lot of them, if that makes sense. Definitely should not be ranked that low. Yeah, 107. We're living right in the 100s range. As long 
long as we stay away from that daunted 126, I'll be happy. And training time has rolled around this offseason. Holy smokes, this team looks a lot better than I thought it would. Thank the heavens for the transfer portal, bro. Yeah, this team honestly isn't half bad, like, especially considering since we're in the Sun Belt, like, we could win a couple games this year in the Sun Belt. I think we won, what, two last year? Maybe three or four, but I'm liking what I'm seeing. Lots of plus fives, couple plus threes. Not very happy about that, but some of these guys just have that dog mentality, and some of them just have that kitty cat mentality, and thankfully, it looks like we have mostly dog mentality. I mean, dude, Wilson's up to an 86. He's really improving well. I mean, especially his awareness is up to a 99, which, as you guys know, for quarterbacks is incredibly helpful and important, so I think he's gonna have a really good year this year, so I'm excited to see what Wilson could do. I'm also excited to see what Trip White does at outside linebacker, his first name. Absolutely awesome. Trip, you know, he's a baller. He had over, like, 100 tackles last year. I think it was, like, 112. He's easily our best player on defense. He's got 93 accelerations as a linebacker. Yeah, this guy is all over the field. He's from Arkansas saw too, so he's a homegrown kid. Love to see it. And we're off to a 4-3 and three start above 500. I will take it. We actually have a win in the sun belt. We have a positive points for to points against ratio. I think it's like the first time in the entire video that's happened. Now, granted, I'm sure three of our wins are against FCS schools. Yep. Nichols State lost to the Vampire Pigs by 26. Sent it down North Dakota. Coastal Carolina beat us. Oh, we beat March of those four and, or five and two, I should say. And we only lost to Southern Miss by seven, so we're very competitive right now in the sun belt, which I'm a big fan of. As for recruiting, it has has been E-L-I-T-E. -E. It has been so good. I'm trying to recruit defense this year. This guy's a cool afro. I'm trying to recruit more defense, like I said, because I feel like our linebackers especially really suck. So we have a lot of good ones coming in. We really need them. And we got a lot of commits too. We still have a lot of depth issues on this team. Like we still have a bunch of like 50 overalls that are like third and fourth strings. So just trying to work those guys out. We'll see if we can pick up another one in the Sun Belt as we are taking on South Alabama. They're actually pretty good. So this might be a blowout loss. Hopefully we just be competitive and maybe still at the end. That'd be kind of cool coach licorice per usual we are off to a very slow start they already have three points they got a cool logo on the bottom left i kind of like that but they're about to score two let's just make sure it's not a touchdown okay it's a keeper at the quarterback okay i just got what was that dude he was like blocking me straight on then he chop blocked me that's gotta be some sort of penalty right maybe i don't know i think it is yes okay we are not bowing down we're actually throwing a punch back love to see we just gotta make sure it's like an uppercut because i feel like an uppercut is worth seven points let's hit it right here circle Touchdown! Let's go! Yeah! All right! Only down three. Oh my gosh, dude. The defense has sucked today. We're down 17. I mean, it's not like the game's over by any means, because uh, we definitely need to get seven here. There's no doubt about that. X? Is that touchdown? Let's go! Okay, there's our seven. We're only down ten. There's still help. Oh my gosh. We battled back. We're only down three! Okay, it's do our die defense. No first downs. If they get a first down, we are definitely chalked. So, defense, please clamp up. Okay, it's a run. Okay. Dude, there's no... My gosh, dude. Our run defense. It's our linebackers. I'm telling you, bro. We have no run defense whatsoever. We have no defense in general, man. This game's over. That sucks, bro. It's like the second time it's happened. It happened last year, too. Screw deja vu, dude. We went five and seven just like last year. I thought we were going to finish ahead of Texas State because they're a 74 and we're a 79, you know, but math apparently did not apply in this situation, which is pretty depressing, especially considering we had way better point differential, but that's because our non-conference. There's no other way around it. Lost to ULM. We destroyed Troy again, didn't didn't we beat them by a lot last year, too? I don't know what it is. We have their number. Lost to ULL and then Texas. Like, come on. That's got to be a win, guys. Oh, my goodness. The season might not have been what I'd hoped for, but I'm really curious to see how Wilson play this year. I'm expecting a bigger jump. 25 and 5. Yes, Wilson. He was so good, but we still sucked, man. It's just the defense. I'm glad that we got a lot of linebackers coming in because we need them. Thank you, Wilson. Now, you'll be back next year. You're going to be a stud again. Rushing the ball, Joseph. It's going to suck to say goodbye to him. He was really good. Five yards per rush, 10 touchdowns. Actually, Dewan had a better yards per rush, but I think Joseph's definitely the better player. Receiving-wise, Greg once again. Oh, he's got a little A back there. I think that means All-American, so good for you, Greg. Also, Dakota Thomas, Redshirt Fresh. You got a lot of good young players, man. That is how the program is trending right now. Defensively, though, Tanner Tonga actually led the team in tackles this year. It was not Trip White, and he led the team in tackles at defensive end. Wow. Make it all Tanner's proud out there. He had 32 TFS! Oh my god, Tanner, let's go! buddy i'm just gonna pretend that this was me in another lifetime definitely was is not this life but maybe in another one six two two fifty man give me like uh, three more inches and 50 or 60 more pounds and maybe i could make a run but no tanner's making all the tanners out there proud thank you dude onwards to the offseason trevor carr tried to leave us as a fullback somehow he thought he was gonna get drafted as a fullback i don't know what he was told but he was clearly lied to as for graduates though three of the five guys really sucked only two 
we're going to miss is Joseph Hyman II and also Trip White. I'm pretty sure both these guys were transfers, so you guys took a chance on Coach Licorice. Unfortunately, we couldn't make a bowl game, but you guys are part of the real building process. And once we win a national title, I'm sure that Coach Licorice will get you guys a ring. Exciting day has been our absolute crypt tonight in this video. Hopefully, things change. I'm really just limiting the amount of guys I'm going after. I mean, just these three. So hopefully, you can go three for three. These guys down here, like, we have leads for them, but, you know, from earlier on this video, I've had no success with these types of guys. So what's the point of putting 500 points into each of them, wasting 1,500 when I could just put into these three guys at the top? So that's kind of my philosophy. We'll see how it goes. Dude, Greg! Oh my god. I literally put points into this guy, too. I've just got no luck with this, dude. Look at all these three guys. They didn't come anywhere. Oh, man. I feel cursed this video. I got Jalen, though, at least. I also got Deshaun. I mean, just... I don't know how I did not get this cornerback, bro. Like, Greg's gonna be a stud. Summertime Sanus is in full effect, but the price it is is definitely the biggest class of the video, and we addressed all the team needs. Like, linebackers are so bad, and we finally got some good guys there, so really happy about that, but yeah, I mean, studs like Lavaccio? Sareo? I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Koi Sanders. I mean, just a lot of good linebackers. All these guys are huge, too. Like, 6'5", 6'6", got 6'5". This guy's not huge, though. Only 5'11", but there's a lot of tall linebackers. Another 6'6", six, six guy. It's gotta be the highest ring class we've had this video. I'm gonna guess this is in the 80s. So the 40s! Whoa! Moving up in the world. Let's go. I'll take it. Alright, guys. Let's stop messing around. Let's make a bowl game for once. I'm still gonna schedule all three FCS schools because I'm not really confident in us making a bowl game <laughs> even though I want us to. We'll see what happens but it definitely should help that our defense is a lot better now with all those guys on the defensive side that are coming into the program. But yeah, I mean, the team's not bad. I mean, it's definitely better than the team last year. So, I mean, we should definitely not finish the last place in the Sun Belt. There's no way. We'll see. It. We'll see what you can do this year. Last year, you were an STUD stud, stud, stud. He's not very fast, even though he says he's balanced, so it's definitely unfortunate. I feel like I got scammed there, but yeah, I mean, he's a good player. I mean, 25 and 5, it's not bad. And he's been a four year, or he's going to be a four year starter, I should say. And the good news for him is he has two really good offensive tackles protecting. I'm starting on the left side with Brandon Zizo, the Greek god, 6'8, 292, and 89 strength. This guy's an absolute beast, bro. He's built in a lab, some sort of alien spaceship. I think his dad's E.T. or something. And then right tackle, Gabe Wolf. This guy is not as tall and as mammothy as Brandon, but he's still a very, very good football player. So our pass protection at tackles should be really good this year. And here's the schedule I was talking about. We're playing Arkansas Week 2. I think I'm going to play them this year. I really want to. I don't think we're going to win or anything, but maybe we could be competitive. And then the three FCS schools, maybe I should schedule like, I don't know, like Akron or like Kent State or some crappy FBS schools, but I'm still really not confident we're going to beat those FBS schools. I'd rather get the guaranteed win so I don't risk getting fired because that would be the worst possible thing to happen but yeah i mean the schedule's not daunting like as long as we can actually beat the teams we should beat like texas state like we should be fine here it is guys i told you we'd be playing this game playing the vampire piggies versus like the vampire wolfies because i think we're our, our yeah we're definitely wolves i think so we'll see if we can pull off this upset coach licorice we're always off to a slow start dude this freaking sucks okay we're down three just make sure it's not touch right here okay hand out to the left side tackle defense oh my gosh dude there's that's so bad. Okay, well, not the best start. Well, it looks like they have our tombstone picked out. I mean, we're down 20 to nothing. This is just not going well. Okay, we just need to score right here. We're at the goal line. This might be our only chance the entire game to score, so we gotta execute. X, R1, over the middle. Let's go! Good throw, Wilson. Okay, we scored finally. Maybe that'll give us some hope and some life. Nope, did not give us either of those things. We are still down 20. Oh my gosh, they are outgaining us 411 to 67! Oh my god, this is an absolute murder! It's gonna be a run, guys. I'm feeling it. Yep, run to the inside. Tackle, please! He, like, redirected directed traffic there's just oh he sucks still way too much man to beat arkansas maybe next year or the year after we might have got a boat race but we finished the season nine and three so that means we finished season nine and two right yeah lost two games of the sub belt the offense was elite the defense was pretty good too okay i will take it let's go coach liquor should we lose to none of the fcs schools let's to oh wow we lost the other two games back to back against jmu and marshall but the rest of these games we won let's go dude we're in a one two three four five six Six game winning streak at the offense has been elite. I guess it shouldn't be too surprising. I mean, I knew Wilson Alexander would be an absolute stud this year. 3,400 yards, 38 touchdowns, only three interceptions. Just an absolute baller, bro. Good job, Wilson. We also ran the ball pretty well. Dewan Ahmed had 1,200 rushing yards, 6.1 yards per rush, 11 touchdowns. I mean, Amari Cochran got in the action, and also Wilson. He didn't really get many yards per rush, but he did keep the defense honest. Receiving wise, though, Greg Galden was our guy once again. Also, Jamar Nizajok. 
Volka. I actually moved this guy for Volk back to tight end. It looks like he balled out there. I mean, just a lot of balance at receiver. And then lastly on defense, Steve Gorgas was actually our best defender. That doesn't really make much sense. It was not Tanner, and it was not Tobin, and it was not Reginald. Oh, I would not have guessed it was going to be Steve this year, but Tanner had 16 TFLs. Not nearly as crazy of a season as last year, and then RJ Kelly was starting for us as a 67 overall. Do not like that. As for recruiting this year, honestly, it's been pretty disappointing. I had a hard time finding like 75 plus overall players, so there's just a lot of depth here. Like the lowest overall is 65. I think next year's recruiting class, we should have a lot more luck, because I'll be able to put 700 points into a guy as soon as I find them but yeah it's just it's impossible to go after a really good player unless they're already interested in you so yeah this recruiting class isn't really that great so next year's it has to be insane we'll see if we can keep the good times rolling we're playing marshall in the conference championship game they actually beat us in the regular season so we have a chance for revenge boys let's go out there and take it okay a little slow start i guess i mean we're only down three points no need to sound off the alarm bell we got this come on wilson square there we go tight window touchdown adams Let's go. Come on, let's go. Yeah, good job, Nate. Well, um, they scored a touchdown, and they have the ball to go on. So it's not exactly what I was hoping to see. Hopefully, we can just get a stopper here. Hold him to a field goal. That would be very nice. Okay, it's a keeper. I just got flattened. Are you serious, dude? Bruh. My guy literally just got launched to Mars. Oh, my God. Still don't have a lead, but the good news is we can actually take it right here. So we got to execute here, Wilson. Square. Is that Mr. Adams again? Oh, yes, it is. Let's go. Easy touchdown. All right, we got the lead. Oh, my gosh. Okay. We, at least we have a lead. We're up six points. Just got to make sure I don't get a touch right here. It's really as simple as that. Come on, defense. Refuse. Interception. Please throw one. Yes. Yes, let's go. <laughs> we did. Let's go. Ask and you shout and receive. Let's go, boys. That's GG's. So that means that Coach Licorice gets to hoist up his first sub belt championship of the video. But next year, we're still going to be the sub belt. We have to beat Arkansas in order to move up. But yeah, man, really happy. Really good season. But it's not over yet we got the cheese it citrus bowl i don't know how we're in this we're definitely not the best group of five teams i think cheese it's a new year's six bowl and we're somehow playing louisville who's not that great so i'm confuzzled but let's just win literally every game's the same we always get down like three to nothing or ten to nothing in this video it's just it's whatever it is what it is wilson let's just get seven right here let's end your college career on a high note get out of the pocket wilson on the run wilson use his legs let's go are you serious? Wilson! Oh my god. It's just not going well, dude. The offense can't move the ball. That might be the only time we get down to the goal in this entire game. That's what it feels like at this moment, dude. It's just not a good situation. We gotta get a stop your defense or a pick six or something. That'd be cool. Tackle. Please. Yes! Okay, we're gonna force to a fourth down. Beautiful. Okay, offense. We just need to wake up. The defense is keeping us in right now. Oh my god, dude. Our offense is so bad today, bro. Wilson is not gonna leave on a high note. We need to try to get a stop right here for him, defense. And I literally just ran right past him. Oh my god, dude. That's gonna be a touchdown. Down. Looks like we might need to queue up the Marvin's room, man. If we don't get hurt this fourth down, we are officially screwed. Come on. Offense, uh, you've sucked all game. Please, Wilson. Triangle late, maybe? Just run, Wilson. Just run. Oh, he's not that fast. Ooh. Wilson. He didn't get it. God dang it. Well, sad way to end the season, that's for sure. It's all right, though. Got to move onward. Coach Licorice, Matt Saffold is trying to transfer. That's not really nice. Matt, okay. I want to play period. I don't care where it is. He could have played next year, maybe. I mean, I don't know. Nah, probably not. But as for the guys graduating, we got some really good players here, like Jamal Johnson, Tanner Tonga. Like, dude, these guys were some studs. Wilson Alexander, obviously. But the good news is there's not too many of them. So it's not like we're losing a bulk of our roster, but we are definitely losing most of our best players, which is not exactly ideal. But Coach Licorice, Licorice is reload through the portal. Let's go, Marshawn Sims. I don't know how we're still getting portal recruits, but I will take it. And also, Philip Pistoria. Like, both these guys are solid offensive linemen. I will definitely take both of them. Let's go. Okay, that's happiness. So, side days now rolling around, and honestly, I think it's all inevitable how it's going to go. We're going to get shafted like we have the last, like, the, the entire video. Not just the last. Like, the entire video we've got shafted. Like, all these guys we have a huge lead for, we probably won't get. Because that's just how it's been the entire video. But, I mean, I'm not going to get my too excited because i don't expect much i think we're gonna get shafted again oh thank you finally dude we got some freaking luck antonio committed the only guy we didn't get was dj and that's the one guy we didn't go after so i'm happy dude we finally got like what should have happened finally happened this year let's go so that gives us the 84th ranked class of the country i think the most notable thing this entire offseason is the team prestige star went up i think that's all that really matters to be honest with you because the guys that we've had interested in us that were trying to come here have not been very good the last couple years so 
hopefully now that we're starting to win a little bit more, we'll have better recruits that want to come here. It's like my only hope. So yeah, I mean, this recruiting class, you guys already seen it. It's not that great. I'm just going to be a hundred million percent honest with all of you. The good news is we have some athletes. So some of these guys might be like 70 overalls in specific positions. But besides that, man, there is not much here. Are we about to repeat the Sunbelt guys? I'm honestly, I'm feeling a repeat in the Sunbelt. I think this team's got the talent for it. We got a lot of old guys. Actually got some decent young guy right here. You love each Sareo. I remember recruiting this guy. We have a lot of good young defensive linebackers. So, I mean, that's good for the future. But this recruiting class this year, I think is the most important of the video by far. Like we have got to get some dudes because last year's recruiting class was not very great. So if we want to keep winning games and hopefully keep building, we got to just recruit a little bit better. Bew Brown, number 24. We'll see what he does at quarterback this year. He's got 92 awareness. So, I mean, there's some things to like here, but yeah, I don't know if he'll be as good as Wilson. He's higher overall than Wilson was. So I guess we'll see, but yeah, it should help him that offensively. He's got some really good guys around him, like Amari Cochran, 90 overall, 90 speed. We also have an insanely good fullback, Trevor Carr, 95 overall, 88 speed. I don't really know what his role is, but he's very, very good. And also Greg Gold. So, I mean, we have some good offensive pieces around him. We'll see if he can just be somewhat close to what Wilson Alexander was. I don't expect a one-to-one, -one, but I expect, you know, maybe like a 0.75 to one, like be three fourths as good. That would be ideal. Wow. I actually think that we're going to finish in third in our own division. Yeah, we're easily the best team. What are these analysts smoking, dude? There's no chance we don't win this division this year. It's way worse than it was last year. Yeah, if we don't win the division this year, this season would be a bitter disappointment, bro. Why don't they have us going back to back? Like, okay, Southern Miss, cool. They have three stars next to their name, but they're not nearly as good as us. Not too bad. Off to a 3 1 start. I'm guessing the loss is obviously to our rival. I guess I don't even know if they're rivals. In state companion, Arkansas. So, yeah, 3 1. That's not too shocking. Oh, we only lost by three. Man, the other three games that we really dominated. I mean, Bowling Green, Western Michigan, JMU. None of these games are really close. I don't know how, but the team we're playing today, Appalachian State's actually ranked in the top 25. So this could be a big time win for us. This could get us our first ranking if we win this game potentially. So let's not choke here, Coach Licorice. And for this game against Appalachian State, we have eight guys visiting. These are the best recruits that we have on our board. So I cannot emphasize how important this game is. Like, we gotta win, dude. There is no other choice. Like, like, this has to be a W. All right, early on, we're tied at seven. I figured this game would be close, so it's not really too shocking, but we need to get seven right here. I forgot this guy's number's freaking 24, dude. Just so bizarre. Oh, triangle. That's touchdown. Butte Brown. What a laser. Let's go. That's the fullback. That's like a 96 overall. Good job, Trevor. He got wide open. Woo! This is going beautifully, dude. We're up 14. I could not be. Actually, I could be happier. We could be up like 60 right now, but either way, dude, I'm very happy with how it's going. We just need to score again. X, maybe? Slant? Easy? No, step up. Butte. 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 Please, thank you. Oh my gosh, dude. I was about to PTSD because last year, freaking, or maybe it was the year before where Wilson fumbled on that dive. Either way, though, Bew or Bell, he did not. Good job, buddy. Oh my gosh, dude. We are just dominating. We're up 28. They're not even trying to go for it. And maybe they just don't want to get embarrassed even more. This is just a dominant win, bro. I really hope we got some commitments, dude. Like, Coach Licorice, she needs some good news on the recruiting trail, man. Please, please, please. Lots of yellow. Lots of yellow. Lots of yellow. Oh my gosh. How did we go? Oh, wow, that's... I'm not trying to be a drama queen, but that is, like, really bad. Because I sincerely doubt we're going to win all of these battles. Dude, that is awful. Really? Just two? We beat a ranked team at home? I, oh, wow. Well, at least we ended with a good season. So, I mean, I'm still upset about the recruiting trail. But, I mean, we dominated. Especially offensively. I mean, 557, that is absurd. It's, like, 100 plus more than every other team in our division, bro. Like, the offense was cooking. Who was another loss, though? I am very curious about that. It looks like Western Michigan and Appalachian State were both ranked wins this year. We also lost... Oh, Louisiana Lafayette? Hmm, man. The defense has really let us down. Down multiple times this year, but the offense has consistently been elite. How did my guy Bew or Bo play this year? Oh, wow. 3,900 yards, 37 touchdowns, only seven interceptions. I told you he was going to be solid, man. I told you. I had belief in him, and he definitely provided. Good job, number 24. Rushing the ball. Amari Cochran was really good. 6.1 yards per rush, man. He should have gotten the ball more, honestly. Him and Gerald were a pretty good one-two punch. Receiving-wise, Greg a stud, dude. I mean, our offense is just so explosive. As for the defense, the side of the ball that kind of let us down, Deshaun Desir Jones was a stud as a 6'6 coverage linebacker. 
probably the most tackles, most TFLs. With Philip Wesley, most sacks was Coy Saunders. I mean, dude, our defense is incredibly young. I mean, I'm liking what I'm seeing about the defense potentially for the future, but we got to keep recruiting. Now, speaking about recruiting, I honestly think it's gone pretty well. Like, we ended up getting some commitments finally, which is very nice to see. But yeah, once again this year, just not that many three stars were interested in us. Like, all these guys that we have committed mostly, we had to go out and find ourselves. Like, I think it's just because our team prestige is so low, bro. Like, maybe next year we'll have better luck. Maybe once for like a level four or something. But only being able to recruit three stars is pretty challenging to begin with. And with no good three star recruits wanting to come here, it makes it even more challenging. But I feel like we did a pretty decent job. It'll really depend on signing day it goes this year, though. I think that that is obvious. We gotta defend our Sim Belt title that we're playing Marshall, who's somehow ranked to the top 10, even though they have two losses. I don't quite get that because we have two losses, too. Either way, though, we're definitely the better team. We should need to go out there and show it. Was this like a full house formation out of the pistol? All the run of the option. Bruh. That was effective fudge. Dude, I don't know what's going on with the offense, bro. We're down 10 now. I mean, this is just humiliating. Okay, well, our kicker, it's said that he can't make this. It's only 38 yards. Like, come on, dude. I'm sure a soccer player off the street could make this. Yeah, why does the CPU suggest this? Like, they're trying to sabotage whatever. Only down 7. It's not that bad. Thank God for the defense. Oh my God, we finally scored. Now, don't get excited or anything because it was off a kick return. I was simulating and yeah, that's how we scored. So the offense still is not to score a touchdown. That's gonna change right here, man. I think it will. Oh my God, it's wide open, dude. Talk about having a good tight end, man. This is why actually i can't say i wish michigan had brock bowers because they had colson loveland but having a good tight end man very very helpful for the cause oh my gosh dude we're really gonna lose our crown aren't we we're down four we have to get a stop for your defense i've had no luck with our defense getting stops this video so i'm not feeling too confident but we'll see i am run committing up the middle please be effective oh my god they passed oh my god oh thank you yes tackle please please short Let's go! Okay, we have life. We have life. Circle? Yes, sideline. Oh, it's wide open. Oh, yes. Sexy, yes. Let's go. Spin. Oh, God. He got clothesline. Okay, we are inside the red zone. We are cooking. I don't recommend this at home, kids. Do not let the clock wind down like this. This is very stupid. I have confidence in my boys, though. X! Touch on! Touch on! No! Oh, that's awkward. Okay, well, this will be the last play of the game. See, that's why I said don't this at home, kids, because that was just stupid. Or maybe it wasn't stupid, because we will have the final play to decide our sunbelt fate. Come on. Oh, God. This is awkward. Get out of there. Bow! Bow! X! Ball. God dang it. Yeah, that was stupid. I managed that so badly, dude. Oh my god. Well, frick, dude. Yeah, believe me. I know I'm an idiot. I even feel like a bigger one after that. Now we're gonna play in the Lending Tree Bowl against Ohio. This is not really a game I'm sure guys are gonna get up for, but hopefully we can just end the season on a high note. Come on, Bo. It's your last game of your college career, Bo. I need to... Oh, there we go. Easy touch on you. Our tight end is really good. Good job, Dakota. Oh, gosh. Dude, I'll be honest. I honestly thought we were gonna blow this game open, but it does not look like we've done that, so... We gotta score a touch right here. Just get up to 14. X. Back of the end zone. Oh, yeah. Easy. Oh, that's our backup tight end right there. Lorenzo Brown. Brown. We got some depth there. Good job, buddy. Yeah, I really wanted to pull them out, but clearly that did not transpire. The good news is all we need is a first tenner here, and it should be GG's. So a win is a win. I can't complain. Oh, right at him. Easiest inches of my life. Let's go, dude. Every inch counts. Believe me, I would know firsthand. So I'm very, very happy we got the job done. Pretty disappointing season. We didn't win the sun belt, but end of the season on a high note. That's the bright side. Big off season ahead, and we have got why? Why are you guys transferring Kendrick and then also Dante? Dude, I need running backs. What? Why is he transferring? Oh my god, that's really bad actually, bro, because we do desperately need running backs, so that really sucks, but we convinced Brandon to come back, the Greek god, and also regional loving, so that's nice of you too, and then we got three draft picks, Bo or Bu, Greg Golden, and also Forrest K, congratulations graduates though, really not that, actually there are some really, see this is what I'm talking about, look at the running backs that are leaving, why did he transfer dude, oh man, he is just giving Coach Licorice the shaft on his way out the door, that is not very nice, this is the money making time Coach Licorice, we finally have 15,000 points, I'm putting 1,000 for MJ Medor, he's an insanely good punter, Paul Dean 5,000, 4,000 for James Adams, cause we're actually closer to the lead, than we are with Alonzo, I wish I could just go after one of these guys, but I cannot afford. I gotta get both, dude. Like, our running back depth chart, it is really ugly. Like, I need both these guys so bad, so please. Yes! Thank you! This is what happens when you get those 15,000 points, dude. I cannot emphasize enough how badly we needed this signing day. Andrew, you know, I wish we could have gotten you because we need linebackers, but honestly, dude, it's not the end of the world. I wanted these four cats, and we got all four. Let's go. And here's the haul. Only 13 guys, but as I said before the season, at least I think I said that. I don't know, dude. My memory is balls. I don't really remember. I wanted to go after more quality, and we definitely 
accomplish that. So I have no complaints. Maybe next year we'll be able to get more quality and quantity, you know, double up. But yeah, I, I have no complaints, man. We've been a lot of depth the last few years. This class definitely will help us with the quality because we desperately needed that. Can't be that highly ranked because we didn't send that many three stars. Yeah, that's not shocking. We are up to a three star T prestige though. So slowly but surely, year by year, we are getting better and better and more prestigious. Okay, man, let's stop goofing around. We got to beat the vampire piggies this year, dude. This team is looking the best so far in the video. Like depth wise, and we got some top end guys up here like Regional, Brandon, and Gabe Wolf. I mean, I don't see us losing any games this up, but we could honestly run the table and make the playoff as like a 12 seed and maybe make a run because this team's looking a lot better than I thought it would. Like just complete transparency. Maybe I'm hyping my team up a little bit too much, but I am a confident Cougar. Like I'm feeling pretty good about what my eyes are seeing right now. I mean, I have four of them, so I don't think I'm missing anything. Omarius Thomas is going to be your quarterback this year though. I feel like we have a pretty good good quarterback room yeah i mean 88 overall 73 speed he's a junior to oh his awareness is it's pretty gross but he has some potential i mean i think he'll be really good next year but this year it might be a uh, reality check we'll see how many uh, yeah he has really not played two touchdowns to zero interceptions though that's pretty good he should have a lot of help though because the offensive line's insane you guys saw the greek god brandon gape is a stud we also got a really good center a left guard the thing is though we need to recruit some offensive linemen because our offensive line has like no depth here whatsoever it looks like the offense is definitely better than the defense this year so we're gonna need to keep scoring points because the defense has been a little bit worse than the offense but i don't think it's been like too overwhelming but this year i think the defense will definitely be a bit worse which is unfortunate but the offense there should be no excuses except for running back this uh, situation we have here in this room is not very beautiful it is a sight that you do not want to behold hopefully avery stewart is like the best 78 overall to exist because we will need him to be a stud okay i was definitely wrong how is the defense better than the offense okay I mean, clearly i was missing something i don't no, how that doesn't make any sense. We're 91 overall, though, so I mean, I guess we'll see. I just want to make the playoff or just be Arkansas. Like, one of those two things happen, I would consider the season a success. Well, scratch the playoff hopes. My god, how do we already have two losses? Oh my gosh, they're both in the coverage, too. So that means that we beat the vampire piggies. What's the problem, bit? Do the offense? It looks like it's really not been great. That's uh disappointing to say the least oh gosh so yep we beat the vampire because we started 4-0 and lost to Appalachian State by 21 we also lost to Southern Miss by 35 oh my god they put us in a casket the last two weeks though we bounced back but I don't know bro I don't know what happened in those two games like we're way better than Southern Miss and Appalachian State we're probably gonna miss the Sun Belt Conference Championship now dude that blows at least recruiting's off to a really good start like this recruiting class it's coming together very very beautifully like I'm a big big fan we got a lot of good cornerbacks and DBs which is pretty good because we need a lot of corners so I'm happy with how it's going so far. Like, yeah, this class is looking really, really sad. I think it's shaped up to be our best recruiting class of the video so far. So, I mean, I have no complaints to the recruiting trail. I'm a very, very happy boy. I feel like the season's kind of been a disaster. At least we beat Arkansas, but we're playing Troy today. This is gonna be a win, dude. We gotta stop losing to these Sunbelt scrubs. We should be able to just run this right at him, right? To the left side. I don't see them stopping this. Yeah, that's easy touchdown, bro. Good job, Avery. Oh, come on, dude. We can't ever blow anybody out. This sucks. Okay, it's fine. Just get somebody here. Let's get this lead of 14. Circle. Oh. Gotcha! Oh, thank goodness, dude. He tried to dive around like a kangaroo and tried to deflect it. Thankfully, that was ineffective. Yes! Okay, this is what I was waiting for. Up 21. This is going beautifully. Can you score again? Should be GG's. Yeah, I don't think there's any way they can come back. Probably square gets open. No, nope, X. Easy. Okay, yeah, I'll take that easy game, honestly. That was not very stressful. I wish we played that the entire season, but too late to go back in the past, Coach Licorice. There's no time travel, unfortunately. Finished out the season winning the last two games. I don't know how we're ranked 8th in the country. There's just no possible way that we're going to make the plot this year and the sub belt go 10 to 2 but yeah we did not make the conference championship i'm pretty sure it was southern miss so pretty disappointing situation but so happens to be losing the sub belt twice dude, it just cannot happen i mean how was amarius this year 25 and 3 so it really wasn't bad i thought the offense sucked obviously i was yeah i don't know maybe it was rushing i don't know what the problem was it doesn't look like it was that bad i don't know i'm confuzzled i'll be honest receiving wise really not much here yeah i don't get why we were so bad offensively i feel like there's talent here it just didn't come together like i was worried about our running back room but it didn't do that bad like it wasn't awful with that defensively steve gorg as was our best player most tfls was la vecchia Sareo, and then the most sacks was philip wesley middle linebacker huh interesting yeah i don't know what happened this year i'll be honest i thought that we would for sure run the table and go undefeated and make the plow for the first time this video but that did not transpire so we end up in a meaningless bowl game against utah i think it's like the lending tree bowl or something like that i don't know what that is so i guess we'll see how this goes i don't really care how it ends up i mean hopefully 
hopefully it could go 11 to 2. That'd be a pretty good record. Score first, score first, score first. Touchdown, X. Yes. Time is Dakota. Let's go, dude. Dakota feels like a good name for like an explorer or like a pirate or something. Maybe that's just me, but I feel like that'd go along pretty well. I don't know what's going on, but we are absolutely thrashing them. This is just not even close. They're 14. We're about to be at 21. I mean, I don't know why we decided to play good in a game that really doesn't matter. It's pretty depressing, but I guess that's life. X. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. Oh, thank you. Okay, I thought for a second that Blitzer was going to come in and give me his wrath, but thankfully that didn't happen. Oh, my God, dude. Okay. Well, they came back, clearly. So, yeah, this is uh, quite wonderful. Now we have to get a freaking touchdown and field goal range. Oh, no. Bro. Okay, maybe I should have lofted it. I thought that was open. That's the fourth turnover. Oh, my God. We're going to lose now, aren't we, bro? Please, something good happen. We need to get a stop right here in this third down. Well. So much for getting to stop. I think that we are officially screwed. This is so depressing, dude. I feel like I'm watching my girl all over again. Oh my god, they're gonna win this game. We choked this. I mean, I can't really be mad at anybody but myself, I guess. I mean, I threw the interception. I thought he was open. Clearly, it was not. So this season kind of was a success because we're gonna be the SEC next year. At the same time, though, pretty disappointing. I thought we'd do better. Out of the off season, we are staring the SEC in the eye. So I'm very, very excited to see what we do next year. But Lavici is coming back. And so is Armarius. Very, very nice of you both. But oh my. My goodness dude we got some really good players leaving like regional brandon the greek god like i don't know how this team did not win more games but yeah i'm just okay you know what i'm not even gonna try and fight the fight because it's not a fight worth fighting yep lots of words there i know you just gotta face the facts man sometimes you have disappointing years like 2021 michigan i thought they were gonna win the big 10 title and they went like two and five so it happens but unfortunately it happened to coach licorice and we gotta bounce back next year back to a depressing sign of day i don't know what to do man i am literally at crossroads these types of stressful situations situations i just never flourish in i'm just gonna go after jk thomas because he's not a juco at mike rogers i'm pretty sure he's a junior juco so we definitely would rather have jk a freshman 74 overall six foot four safety and then we really need offensive line as you guys know and none of these three guys at the bottom ever pulled the trigger so i have to go after two of them you know it would have been nice if colby and dalton both would have committed or even steven but none of them did so i have to go after both them and it would have been nice because i could have got after like Theltus or Keyshawn, but you know that was a dalton and corby being jerks so hopefully they finally pull the trigger now and we got all three guys i'm still pretty upset with this dude because like these guys aren't great offensive tackles we just desperately need offensive linemen like it's it's a necessity bro it's literally like water like we need some and we got two of them we also got jk so we got the best guy to get and we got two positional needs so it's not bad it's just we could have gotten Keyshawn and Theltus. it would make this class elite 63 class interesting wasn't last year we were in the 40s we signed 23 stars though i don't really get that i'm just glad that we gained another star in t prestige even though we had somewhat disappointing seasons so pretty happy about that. And this is the class. It's insanely good. I'm very happy with it. Considering we can only go after three-star recruits and our T prestige isn't that high. So not that many three-stars want to come here. Maybe that'll change next year because we're in the SEC now too. Should make recruiting a little bit easier. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with the class. Only thing I can complain about though is the offensive tackles. Like we should have gotten some higher overall guys there. But yeah, I mean, there's plenty of studs up here. You guys have already seen him. So I'm pretty happy. What will the transition look like? Will we get bets over? Probably not. Will we win it? Probably not. So I guess we'll see. But this team's definitely, I think it's better than the team last year. I don't know, dude. My judgment's not very good. I thought the team last year would be a higher overall than what it actually was. So I have no idea what to expect. I mean, I guess we'll find out. But yeah, I think the team's really good once again. I'm not really worried about our floor. I'm more worried about our ceiling. Like, can we win a national title? I don't know. I guess we'll see. Quarterback, though, Amarius, he was pretty okay last year. He wasn't, like, anything spectacular. I mean, 28-5, it's pretty solid. It was really just the rest of the offense. I don't know what the problem was last year. I still haven't quite figured that one out. It should help him out that defensively, we have Deshaun Desir Jones, a six foot six outside linebacker, just an absolute beast, and also right outside linebacker. Lavici Sareo, he came back. So our defense has got really good linebackers. It's just, I don't know if we have many, like, superstars on our team, which is kind of needed in the SEC. So, I don't know. I guess we'll see how things go this year. I don't know what to expect. Whoa, we're actually at 95 overall. We're projected to finish third in the SEC West. Okay, that is a big surprise. I'm not going to lie, but it looks like, okay, Alabama's really good. Tech Sam's really good, but besides that, we're a higher overall than everybody else. So, I mean, we'll see how we acclimate, but I'm feeling honestly a lot better than I thought we'd feel. I thought we were about to get bent over a little bit. Yeah, we've not been bad. I mean, 5-1, it's not awful. We're at 95 overall, so I can't really complain. I mean, we're ranked to the top 14, so that's not horrible. Who do we lose to, though? That is the curious question. We beat Kentucky, Eastern Michigan. We had some close games. Arkansas oh, was Bama. Not really shocking, though. They're the 99 overall, aren't they, right? Yeah, they are. Okay. Yeah, well, that's not too surprising. Something else that's not surprising is that Coach Licorice has once again killed it on the trail. This guy's name is Courtney with a Q. I don't know how I'd feel if my name was Courtney as a guy. I feel like that would be, uh 
quite the hurdle to overcome in life. I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it a little bit. I mean, I do have a cra kind of crappy name in my opinion, but either way, we have a really insanely good recruiting class, dude. It's not even like that of the season. This hall is probably going to be the best one yet, but we got to stay focused because we are playing Big Bad LSU. We're actually a little bit better than them, so this should be a win on paper. I hope so. Oh my gosh, guys. Like, come on. Okay, we're down 10. This is not going well. We need to get seven right here. There's no way saying or butts about it. One of these two slants shall get open. I declare. There we go. See, perfect. I told you one of them would. All right, guys, let's like figure things out. Like, we need to win this game. All right, well, our kicker missed an extra point, apparently, so that's wonderful. But the good news is that if we need to get a touch right here, we'll have the lead, so that's all that really matters. Square, please. Lot. Oh my god, that was a sexy throw. Oh my god, dude. Peyton Manning would be proud. Oh my goodness, that was beautiful. Good job, Amarius. Holy cow, that was insane. Why are you guys doing this to me, man? We're down seven. We need a touchdown and a two-point conversion to win the game. That's just wonderful. All right, well, making things hard on Tanner. It's all right, I got this. X, back the inside. Oh, easy. I did not think it was gonna be that easy. Yeah, we're definitely going over two. We are not going to settle for the tie. Please, one of you two get open on the slant. Oh dear god. Oh dear god, they're coming in hot. Circle! Let's go! Yes! Retreat, set up camp, and then fire a missile. Let's go, man. I'm going to use her, our star defensive end. Come on. Touchdown. I don't know why I said touchdown. That's not, that's the absolute opposite. Please, please, nothing bad. Let's go! Yes! Oh, man. I don't know why this game is so close, but we won. It's all that matters. Whoa! I mean, I'll be honest. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I anticipated this. I don't think I did. 11-1. We're going to make playoff this year for the first time in this video. I cannot wait. Dude, the offense is really good. The defense is pretty okay, but the offense definitely carried. Clearly, we won the rest of our games. The question turns to, were any of them close? Ooh, Ole Miss was. Only in overtime. Smacked ULM, Mizzou. Texas A&M was close, and then we beat Vandy. So, we really didn't pick up any good wins after our win over LSU, but we have taken care of business in the SEC gala, that's for sure. And Omarius Thomason was a big reason why. Is it to a 95 overall, 3,300 passing yards, 29 touchdowns? Oh, oh, I thought it said two. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe I'm losing my eyesight. Hopefully not, because I have glasses. Since I was four, my, my lenses are very thick, so that would not be ideal, but yeah, I see eight and 29. It's more interceptions than I was hoping, but he wasn't horrible. Rushing the ball. Oh, man. We really needed to feed James Adams more, bro. Isn't that a name of a president? James Adams. It sounds familiar. I don't think it's... Eh, it might not be. I don't know. But 7.1 yards per rush, 12 touchdowns. He needs to get the carries more. Receiving-wise, it was Jalen Elledge, the possession receiver from Sugar Land, Texas. He had 15 touchdowns, bro. He was like our only receiving threat. Like, all these guys were okay, but they were not nearly as versatile and dynamic as Jalen. Then defensively, Lavachia Sere... I'm never gonna get that guy's name right, so I don't know why I keep trying. He had the most TFLs. Did he have the most... Dude, he had the most sacks, TFLs, and tackles. He was definitely a best defender that's obvious so we're now on to the playoff and wow we got an upset holy cow utep beat texas i don't quite know how a little in-state showdown there but we shall see i don't think we will lose i really hope we don't that would be embarrassing square that's gonna be a touch on right please yes oh those curls are so unfair i was against a star cornerback too well good for utep they actually scored some points they got a field goal but we're back in the red zone this should be another touchdown just don't fudge up tanner tight end maybe maybe the square Okay, tight end. Yes, there we go. Perfect. Do good job out of a Carmack. Dude, what the chopsticks? How'd they come back? Oh my gosh, they're only down six. The good news is we just need to cover this on side. I mean, they did beat Texas. They're clearly decent, but I was hoping this would be a blowout, man. But oh my god, dude, he got clotheslined. Either way, though, dude, we survived and we advanced. Now we're out of the semis. That's all that matters. Where we are taking on Army. Oh man, they upset Alabama. I mean, it's kind of a good thing we avoided them because I don't think we would have beaten Alabama. Somehow Army won, but that's just a triple option. Hopefully, Coach Licorice has the cheap code for it because i sure don't x maybe circle circle separation oh yeah no that's not enough separation oh wait it is let's go jalen man that guy he's got a little way about him i don't know what it is i can't put my finger on it but that kid is a baller i figured this would happen i mean they beat alabama we're up seven points though so it's going pretty well we just had to score again circle maybe right here oh gosh no i can't throw that oh no yeah i gotta throw this away okay i gotta play this smart let's just shake the field go okay we should be able to bomb this through we have a really good punter i got him at kicker right now like this should be an easy kick. He, he does double duty. Yeah, that was sexy. Holy cow. Okay, we're up 10 at the half. We're in a good spot. Oh, God. Okay. It's just like last game. We have to clutch up and get a first down to seal the W. The good news is our team has ice in their veins. We got this. I believe. Okay, hand out to James, the president. Adams to the outside. First down. First down. Let's go, James. Yeah, that should be GG's. Let's go. Here we go, Coach Lickers. National title game. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we're playing the Leprechauns. They're very solid. They won three games to get here, so they're definitely determined, and they're definitely good. So, we'll see how this goes. Not the ideal start, but it's only down seven. We can come back. We got this. Serco, touch on. Please. Yes. Thank you. Let's go. Good job, Cameron. Ooh, we can get a lead now. Let's go. The defense guys to stop. 
We're back in the red zone. We are cooking with gas. Come on, boys. Let's get seven. Do not choke this opportunity, Tanner. Don't let it slip. Make Eminem proud. Touchdown. Let's go. Yes, it's Jalen Stud. I just realized we have our backup quarterback playing too. No excuses though. Touchdown to X. Let's go. We are cooking with gas, man. Let's go. Good job, Paul. I am shocked, dude. I honestly thought we were going to lose this game. I did not see this coming. Even with our backup quarterback playing, this is just, I don't understand it, bro. We're at 14. Another touchdown. Fourth quarter. It should be GG's, man. Right to James Adams, the president. James Adams, future president, let's go! Yeah, this game's over, boys. Let's go, man. Yes, Coach Licorice. And there it is for Coach in his first year in the SEC. We win the national title. I cannot emphasize enough. I think we got very lucky. I don't know how Alabama lost to Army. That will leave. Many football fans can fuzzled for centuries to come, but it's fine. We capitalized off it, and we got ourselves a national title for Coach in the worst program and worst college football team, I should say, of all time. As expected early on, we absolutely sucked, but even a bowl game until year four but we went from five and seven to ten and four eleven and three so we did not have a single season without 10 wins the last four seasons and then the end for coach dickerish he capped it off in year eight winning us in arkansas state a national title and if you enjoyed click the video on the screen where i rebuilt louisville and instantly basketball i think you'll love it